Hello, this is Larry Tentarelli with a brief educational blog and video for Blue Chip Daily Trend Report. Today, we're going to take a look at a question that I get asked most often online, which is when is the right time to sell my winners? So we're going to take a look at the strategy that I use for, for booking gains in my winners, but also holding on uh, for a longer time frame, looking for, uh, for bigger gains. And we're going to take a look at an actual position that I've got right now in NVIDIA uh, that I've shared with website members. So to get started, we'll touch base on the disclaimer, which says everything in the video is for informational purposes only. You can read more about the disclaimer right there. So we're going to take a look at the NVIDIA position. And then more importantly, we're going to take a look at the overall concept that I use to manage my open winner. So we're going to start with the NVIDIA buy. April 30th, 2021, I posted on the members' Twitter page uh, along at 611. It's had a, a four for one split. So that split adjusted 152 with a stop at 128. So we'll take a look on the chart to get started. We'll see the buy point April 30th is right in here coming off of the uh, 20 day moving average. The stop was at 128. We'll take a little bit, a longer look at the entry in just a few minutes, but I want to walk through the trade. So long on April 30th, on June 28th, so about two months later, I sent out an email to website members just to say that I was booking 20% of the position at plus 30%. So if we take a look on the chart, June 28th, we can see NVIDIA was just starting to break out here. My position was at plus 30%. So I dialed back 20% of the position. So it started at a 5% position, went up to about 6.5 uh, general math, and then dialing back 20% was, was reducing it right back to around that 5% position. Now, this is just general math because as the portfolio value increases, so as NVIDIA goes up, but the account goes up, it won't be straight at 6.5. It'll be a, a little bit less, but that's just general math. Uh, to explain the concept. And then we'll fast forward to yesterday, August 24. I posted on the members' Twitter page pre-market, and I also sent out an email just to say that I was dialing back another 20% of the position uh, at plus 41%. And then if we take a look on the chart, when I formatted, the arrow moved over a little bit, but it's this red bar yesterday at plus 41%. So we've got the buy, at plus 30%, I dialed back 20% of the position. At plus 41%, I dialed back another 20%. But keep in mind, this, this position has appreciated. So I'm almost right at the original amount that I started in the position in the beginning, but I've booked gains here and I've booked gains here. So we're gonna take a look at the actual scaling concept. And this video will probably be maybe 10 minutes long or so. So we'll get into the blog question that I get asked most often, when is the right time to sell my winners? So what, what I do is I use a scaling process. So we're going to touch base on, on three points quickly. The first thing is trader time frame. So whenever somebody gets into a position, they should know right away what is their time frame. Some, some people are day trading. Some people are swing trading. They've got different time frames. I've got an intermediate to a longer term time frame. So I'm looking for positions that I believe can go 25 to 50% in three to six months. And we've got that right now with NVIDIA or 50 to 100% over six to 12 months. I might hold positions for a shorter period. I might hold positions for a longer period, but this is the general guideline of what I'm looking for. My current trend following stop levels, they're a little bit wider, about 12 to 15% based on current market volatility. In lower volatility markets, I'll be right around 10 to 12%. Now, once again, day traders might use a, a 2% stop. Swing traders might use a 5% stop. But for my longer term positioning, because I'm looking for 25 to 50 to 100% over three to 12 months, this is still exceptionally good trading math because it, it can give me when I'm right, uh, two to one, three to one, five to one on my money or more. So what I do, because here's the key thing. Uh, as a longer term position trader, I want to hold my winners as long as they're working, but I don't want to get into a situation where my stock goes up 30 or 40 percent 
I never took any money off the table and then it comes right back down. And then basically I've had a round trip, but I didn't generate any profits from it. So what I use is profit scaling. And this allows me to hold big winners longer, lock in gains and reduce my risk. So I'm a, a firm believer of pushing my winners, cutting my losers. So I've got no fear of giving back some gains. So what that means is that often, and we'll see this online or when I talk to friends, often a position will start to work. It goes up five or 6%. And the trader is so anxious to lock in that gain that they close out the position and then the stock goes up 20, 30, 40, 50, 100%, whatever the number is. So I don't want to be in a position where I, I make 5 or 10% in a trade, and then I watch it go up 30%, 50% or more. And we've seen that happen quite a bit uh, over the last few years. So I, I've been in the markets for 23 years. I've had obviously losing positions but I've had a lot of positions that, that have gone 30 to 100% or more. We'll take a look in the next video that I do. We'll take a look at the Freeport Mac Moran position that I just closed out last week. And I book gains anywhere from plus 100%, plus 188, plus 200, plus 145, plus 200. This was a, a very solid trade for me. But once again, this position started at one point, it was up 5%, it was up 10%, it was up 15%. It had a drawdown and then it kept going. The last thing that I want to, and, and this was a, a significant trade for me. The last thing that I want to do is make five or 10%, sell the stock, think that I've got a victory. And then I take a look later and realize that the stock went plus 200%. That can be very difficult to recover from emotionally to, to, to take a small win and then watch the stock go on to, to major gains. So what, what I do, is if a position is working, I want to lock in some gains, but I want to stay in it. So here's what I do, and I'll go into it right now. And there's really three benefits. Number one, by taking some profits along the way, but still staying in the position, number one, it allows me to take some money off the table, generate some real profits. And also I reduce my open risk because now I've got a little bit less money in that position and I'll often raise my stop. Number two is it allows me to stay in the big winners. Like we remember Freeport, that, that turned out to be a very big trade over a year. But here's the most important thing, I think, because trader psychology and investor psychology is the most important aspect of position management. And what, it, what this allows me to do is eliminate the daily pressure of the all or nothing mindset. And here's what I mean. Somebody gets into this NVIDIA position, it starts to work. And then every day they start to think, should I sell it here? Should I sell it here? Should I sell it here? It's starting to go down. Let me sell it. It pulled back here about, I don't know, five or 8%. Let me sell it here. And then what happens is because every single day, the traders micromanaging this position and they're scared to give back all the gains, often they get shaken out right here. And then the stock goes up another 10 or 15 or 20 percent where they get shaken out here and it continues to go up so by by profit scaling here's what this allows me to do it goes up i lock in some gains now i know that i've got a profit cushion already in this position that even if it comes all the way back down to break even i've already this is already a, a profitable trade for me so i can i can mark that on the books as a winning trade now it's just how much money i'm going to make in the position it continues to go higher sharp pullback. Once again, this doesn't shake me out because it's over the 50 day. I use that extensively for my positions, but I'm not as, as uh, anxious to sell this position because I know this is already a, a winner for me. If I've locked in gains at plus 30%, even if it comes right back down to break even, this is still a winner. So now I've already got a guaranteed win. So now I can be a little more generous with how I let this position work. So it went up 30%, I took 20% off the table, came up, pulled back, came up again, pulled back. And then yesterday, and I held this into earnings, I hold my winners and my core names into earnings. My stop right now is well over my original buy point. So this is a guaranteed win for me. So now it's just a matter of how hard can I push this uh, to really maximize it. Maybe it turns into a free port trade, maybe it comes back down, we'll see. But yesterday, 
at plus 41%, I took another 20% off the table. So keep in mind, even though I sold 20% here, 20% here, the position's up 40%. So I'm right, or I'm just around the original amount of capital that I've already put. My stop is at, at over 160. So now this is a guaranteed win. I took money here. I took money here. My exit is here. So now, once again, this is a guaranteed winning trade for me. Now I just have to manage it as, as good as I can. And what I do, just in a nutshell, and you can read through this at your convenience. But basically what I do is I use fixed percentage increments. And I go into a lot more detail on the member's website. But what I do is once a stock goes up 20%, then I'll evaluate the position. I'll evaluate my current exposure and the overall market. And at plus 20%, like I recently did with, with HCA Healthcare, I took, I, I dialed some money out of the position. At plus 20% in NVIDIA, I didn't make any adjustments. It went to plus 30%. It was breaking out. I said, let's take this opportunity to, to lock in some gains based on what, what other exposure I had. So I locked in some gains here. Went up, came back down. It's been choppy, but I know I've already made money. Now, yesterday, it, it broke out uh, two days ago. Yesterday, I was at plus 41%. I took some more money off the table. So now what I'll do is I'll move this stop up along the way. If, if I'm fortunate and the position goes to plus 50%, then I'll reevaluate it again. I, I might take you know another 10 or 20% off the table. I might let it ride. But the key thing is this is not a fixed... Uh, so this could be automated. So somebody could set up a trading program that says that plus 20%, the system automatically sells 20%. At plus 30, plus 40, the system can be set up to do anything. I do like to have discretion to look at the market and look at my overall positioning, but I, I do use these. This is the checkpoint that tells me, okay, let's take a look at, at everything and see if I need to take some money off the table or not. So I, I hope that this has been informational. Uh, I do go into more detail on the members website to give you an idea. Bluechipdaily.com is my website. If you go to the join now page, you can see all of the member benefits, if you, including the live Twitter page, uh, premium Twitter. If you go to the top performers page, you can see a lot more uh, of the technical work that I do and how I use trends and moving averages. So I appreciate everyone's time. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you online soon.